Hello, this is Pastor Tony Aris and my family, and we are the creators of a freshword.org. I am forced to depart from my usual blog about Christ, culture, and commentary to address the heightened level of stupidity that is taking place within the world of politics and celebrity. Donald Trump has begun inviting host of athletes and entertainers over to his penthouse plantation for a chat. He has gotten photo ops with Jim Brown, Ray Lewis, Kanye West, and now Steve Harvey. One conversation even ended with a substantive introduction with Trump's head African-American, Dr. Ben Carson. All of these meetings are with people who know nothing about politics, government, or public policy. This points to a bigger problem in our society, our worship of celebrity. To be fair, the Democrats started this with their liberal use of Hollywood stars to advocate for issues. Just because you are good at one thing, though, it doesn't make you good at another. Even my enemies have pointed out that I'm a decent writer, but I am an awful administrative organizer though. Ray Lewis and Jim Brown were the best on the gridiron. That doesn't mean that they understand what it takes to fix the neighborhood. Kanye West is great at producing music. That doesn't mean that he is empowered to produce jobs. Steve Harvey is a charismatic man and he does wonders with mentoring the youth. What does he know about rebuilding Chicago or Detroit? Rebuilding the inner city is not something that you do as a hobby. You go to college for that. You work for well than over 10,000 hours at public policy and urban development to be good at that. It's not a career choice that someone completes in between family feud episodes. It doesn't work like that. There are real urban leaders that Trump could have called up to his penthouse for a chat. Cornell Brooks is the head of the NAACP. He has worked as a federal attorney and community activist. The Congressional Black Caucus would have been another good meeting. Here's the thing though, if he talks with people that know what they are doing, he may get asked tough questions. You may have to actually produce something other than a photo op to demonstrate that you are good with the blacks. This man came to political prominence by attacking the citizenship of the first black president. He caused almost race riots by using insensitive language towards Mexicans, Muslims, and the African-American community. During one of the debates, he encouraged a national stop and frisk campaign, which has been locally proven to be disproportionately impactful to the African-American community. After he wins the White House, he nominates Jeff Sessions, a man who was denied a federal judgeship because of his racist past. He has also appointed a man to his inner circle which has ties to white nationalist movements. Let me also add that he lost the popular vote and nearly three million votes. We should work with him though. We should give him a chance. Word to the wise, never let your enemy pick your leaders.